All right, look, had a wonderful day today. Just wanted to say, once again, we're the best entertainment wise. We're the best mowing footage and music wise. We got the best knowledge in the lawn care community. And now on top of everything, I must say, we're the most and best good looking lawn care service in our lawn care community locally or lawn care community on YouTube. And you can't teach that. And it's not cocky when you're King Brando, it's backing it up. Now, let me show you some uh, mowing footage and how we do it at Law & Stars. Futuristic. You can't pin me down to a sit down mower and you can't pin me down to a stand down. watching this channel and the guy says he's mowing his yard and the neighbor comes up to his customer's yard and asks him why don't you pull the weeds out of your customer's bed well this lawn care service that I'm watching on this channel says he says oh no I'm gonna get the last word in so he, he, he argues with the guy just because the guy says something, he pro he makes uh, something big out of nothing. So let me tell you what to really do in this situation. The neighbor comes up to you and says, could you pl please pull the weeds? They're getting out of hand in your customer's yard. Do you not do that? Well, instead of arguing with them, here's what you really do. You tell them, sure as soon as i get done mowing i'm gonna get to doing that yes sir you have a great day and as soon as you get done mowing that yard you just leave and go to the next yard simple as that i've been in the bit we, we have been in the business at all the lawn stars for 20 years we know all the tricks don't argue with anybody while you're working it's not work, worth it. Be nice, like Swayze said in Roadhouse, until it's time not to be nice. Hold on, I'm thinking. Okay, also, we had the positivity challenge passed on to us, passed on to us. And what the positivity challenge is, is to, to say some positive things about what YouTube and the lawn care community has done for you. Or, or just anything positive, I, I guess. Anything positive going on with you. My thing would be, and I speak for all of the lawn stars out there, and I know I speak for all of them, when I say YouTube and the lawn care community have fired us up drove us to love lawn care again and we have met some good friends through youtube and the lawn care community it's so much positivity those are the two main positive things that's happened to us and you can't beat that there's there's no negativity that can come in when you are good to people people are good to you and you're having a great time mowing when you might have been burned out because you have friends out there going through the same thing. I pass the positivity challenge on to 
Spencer's Lawn Care. Let's see what you have to say and what's positive about the lawn care community community to you. And Tremor Queen, keep him in line. Don't let him get too negative. I gotta go. <laughs> I got a little salt in my pepper. 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 I got a little salt in my Red alert! Red alert! Picture this. Right outside a beautiful Burbank, California's courthouse. We have been granted the right to break into Lawn Star's YouTube page because they will not give up this sassy thing. Well, my client gets equal time on their page from now on. My beautiful, wonderful client, Samurai Mick from Bathing in Green. Here he is. World, are you ready for him? Uh, samurai, 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 samurai. My friend, I love you. You're the most beautiful, wonderful hunk of man in the world. But please, take the thing off your face. I can't understand a fucking word you're saying. Sorry about that, Bushkin. Samurai Mick here. Owner, operator, CEO. A bathing in green. I don't know why I'm really here doing this. I guess if nothing else, it's revenge for them using sassy. What is this? What's this thing called anyway? You see? I'm not, what? I mean, lawn jockeys? I don't know. Anyway, I can't imagine that any of you folks will be worth my while. Uh, I require the best of the best to be my little minions. And uh, I like to call them my little samurai. I, I don't know why, I guess because we just get out there and chop the shit out of the grass. You know what I'm saying? We attack it. You people I like to put in my grass catching basket of deplorables. Islamophobes, xenophobes, homophobes, you name it. That's you. But you never know, I might, might find one out of the whatever couple hundred followers they have. I doubt it, but sometimes you have to get down in the dirt and the muck and the gutter with the dregs of life and roll around in it sometimes just to realize how high the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? I got this here from Sweet Gum. Uh, love it. And maybe it'll keep uh, any of these other small little minuscule pieces of shit YouTube pages uh, down and make them watch their P's and Q's. And by the way, I don't want you to get your dirty little nubby fingers typing away on the keyboard in the comment section saying, But Mick, why do you talk about us that way? Fuck you! Don't you know who the real king is? Me, this guy sitting right here. I'm a king amongst peons in the lawn care community. Don't you know that? You soon will. Bye. Oh, oh, wait. Hold on, man. Wait, wait. Hey, uh, what the hell? Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit on the van there. Uh, you you want to join the wolf gang, man? No, do I look like I want to be in a gang? Do I look like a gang bang? I don't want to be no wolf gang. I, I claim Wu-Tang. You want to be in a Wu-Tang? What kind of gang are you in? Is that like a gang? What, do you go around shooting people or something? I, I don't like you beating on my van. You didn't dent it back there, did you? You didn't? Did you dent it?